what's going on everybody? Today's video is all about gaps and we're talking about spark plug gaps and one of the, wait, wait, you have something behind your ear and one of the ways that we use to measure spark plug gap is with a spark plug gapping tool and for more magic tricks like that you can visit me at the Magic Center in downtown. Just kidding. But um, yeah, so we'll use a spark plug gapping tool like this. Um, it's very common. You can find it at almost any automotive shop. Uh, you probably have one in your toolbox and you don't even know how I got there. Another cool tool is a feeler gauge. And so with the feeler gauge, you can just um, pick any number like this. And I want you to commit that number to memory and make sure you have it. Do you have it? Is it in your head? Okay, all right. Now I am going to just abracadabra and is this your number? 0 0.007. No? Oh man, always works by myself. <laughs> but anyway, kidding again. All right, moving on. So a feeler gauge is another great way to measure gap. Um, and you can't really adjust gap with a feeler gauge, but it is a good way to measure gap. So we'll be talking about those two tools and uh, I'm going to show you how to use them and uh, how to adjust that gap on your spark plug. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so here are the tools that we'll be using to measure and adjust spark plug gaps. So I'm going to use this dial indicator right here just to make sure that our tools are accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on right here and zero it out, make sure it's good. Okay, yep, yep. All right, so now we'll just look for a number here. We'll go with a common size, which is 0 0.04. So let's just take 0 0.04 right here and find that right there all right we're at 0 0.04 did you say and we're getting 0 0.041.5 so could just be a little off maybe let's try it again 0 0.03 so the closer we get to 0 0.04 so if we move it over all right so that's that's edge to edge right there so we get 0.41 and we can go back and see that we're at zero and we can try it again this is 0 0.03 and here we are at 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 is pretty accurate it's actually on point uh, 0 0.04 seems like it's a little bit off center maybe or it's it's not right where we want it let's see 0 0.041 so it's close it's close okay so now we'll just test our fueler gauge here and we're going with 0 0.035 so we'll just measure that 0 0.035 and we get 0 0.035 so we know our tools are accurate and reliable. So um, both of these are good, reliable sources, um, the, either the button or the feeler gauge. So now I'm going to show you just how to, I'll show you just how to adjust gaps. So this part right here um, from the strap to the electrode is the, the distance between that. That's the gap that we're trying to adjust. And so uh, if we want to adjust, shorten this gap if we want to bring this closer to the electrode then we'll just take the bottom part of this and we'll just be real gentle we can just kind of hold it uh, right here like at the base and just press down on it just being gentle you don't want to do too much because you don't want to make a big adjustment and then from there um, you know we'll, we'll take a look at it and then we can we can measure it and you want to be gentle because sometimes these electrodes are really thin and so when you slide it through you don't want to damage the tip um, because that can just kind of be bad for spark so um, 
We'll get a measurement here, a reading, and as you can see, we're between 0 0.06 and 0 0.07. So if we go ahead and press it down a little bit more like this, just being gentle, and then just come in, and we can see that now we stop at 0 0.06. So that's, that's good. And so now let's say that we want to open this gap. So what we'll do is we'll actually use this opening right here and we'll just slide the, we'll slide the spark plug between this opening right here. And we want to be careful not to touch this. Uh, we, we don't want to touch the electrode with this, the, the metal uh, spark plug reader. Um, all we're doing is we're just touching, we're just hooking the strap onto the button, the, the base part, and we're just lifting off that. So as you can see, the electro is not even touching and I'm using pressure and I can just pry up like that. Not even, it hasn't even touched the electro or the white area. So once we're done and we feel we've, you know, made a the gap that we want, then we can go back and we can adjust it or we can we can check for the the gap. And so as you can see, uh, I opened the gap all the way up to past 0 0.07. So that's pretty much it. So uh, once again, if you want to close the gap, you know, just kind of hold the spark plug uh, in the palm of your hand, take this the bottom part and just press press down like that. You just want to press press down on this. Uh, nice, even, steady pressure. Nothing too serious. Uh, you don't want to make too big of movements. And then if you want to open the gap, then you will just uh, put the spark plug through like this, right? And then you will make sure that it's seated on top like that and not touching the, you don't want it to touch uh, anything but that strap so you should be able to get you know a nice good resistance just like this have it locked in and then just apply pressure upwards and then you can set your spark plug gap that way okay so now we want to measure the gap with our feeler gauge so this is what we'll do we'll just uh, let's say for example you know we'll go back to um, Point three, point zero three five, and then we'll just you know put the feeler gauge in like this, and as you can see, there's still a big gap. So from there, we would just look for the right size, and let's say that um, here we have oh, point zero three two, actually point zero three five. I believe is the largest. So now let's say we want to um, find, find some way to get the gap that we need. So if we take, let's say we take um, 0 0.035 here and we combine it with 0 0.032, right? So now we have, we have 0 0.0, we have 0 0.032 and 0 0.035, and we can just kind of squeeze them together like, like this, right? And then we can go ahead and get a measurement like that. So there we go. So as you can see, now we have our we have our desired gap that we want, making sure that. You know, this is this this is an extreme example, but I'm just kind of making a point that you can use uh, multiple uh, blades gauges here to to combine to get the number that you want. So that's just one way. But ideally, you would have a shorter gap than this. Uh, I believe I set this to like 0 0.07 or something. So ideally, it would be a lot, a lot smaller. Let's say it's like, you know, 0 0.035. Then you would just, you know, you could uh, 
run it through like this, you could run it through like that, and you can get your you can get your gap that way. So the feeler gauge is good because you can mix and match numbers and get a, a more precise number, um, or you can also just use the, the button. So either tool is great. And uh, yeah, so I hope that this tutorial has been helpful for you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Wait, you have something behind your ear. It is... Did you see, did you just see that? Did you see how I caught that? Oh wow, that was super cool. Um... <laughs>